The armature is the central part of your power tool's motor. It consists of windings, the commutator, a cooling fan, the drive shaft, and the commutator and bearing. The armature along with the field create an electromagnetic field that causes the armature to spin. The carbon brushes transfer electricity to the armature through the commutator. Over time, the commutator will wear from this constant contact. If the tool is overloaded, the armature can overheat and the insulation around the windings will burn away, creating a short circuit. When this occurs, there will be excessive sparking from the motor brushes and smoke or burning smell from the motor. Replacing the armature is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Socha. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless drills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing half of the rear handle housing. Next, I need to remove the retaining ring from the back side of the armature. I'll pull the controller out of the way, being careful not to lose the spring and rivet, and I'll use a small screwdriver to remove the retaining ring. Now remove the magnet ring. Next, I'll remove the motor brushes. Now I'll separate the gearbox and armature assembly from the motor. I'll remove the four screws that secure the gearbox to the motor housing. There's also a grounding screw that attaches to the gearbox and I'll need to remove that. And now I can separate the two halves. Now I'll remove the cover from the gearbox housing. Now I'll remove the armature from the gearbox housing. The armature is secured with a retaining ring, and I'll remove it. I'll use a pair of retaining ring pliers. There's a dimple on the end of the armature. I'll place a punch on it and tap the armature away from the bearing. Now I can install the new armature. I'll place the armature through the bearing in the gearbox housing. I'll use my rubber mallet to tap it into place. And I'll re-secure the armature with the retaining ring. And I'll make sure that the retaining ring is fitted firmly into the groove on the armature. Now I'll reinstall the spindle and gearbox cover assembly. With these fine threads, I like to start them with a screwdriver so I don't strip them out. And then I'll finish them with the impact driver. And now I can reassemble the armature and gearbox assembly to the rest of the motor. Now I'll reattach the ground wire.
and I'll secure the gearbox with the screws. I'll reinstall the magnet ring and secure it with the retaining ring. And I'll reinstall the brushes. And I'll finish by reinstalling the housing. And that's how you can install a new armature in your power tool. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.